Hello and welcome to another Stack Tawny Help video. This video will show you how to build out a double elimination tournament. Stack Tawny can help you schedule and manage any tournament or competition format. From round robin, pool play, brackets and more, we have the built-in scheduling flexibility to handle it all. Once you've watched this video, it'd be great if you can give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel and also hit the alerts button so you get notified when we upload new videos. First, head to stacktourney.com and log into your dashboard. Once you've logged into the dashboard, click on the Tournaments tab. This is where you can create new tournaments, view current past tournaments, and see a public view of schedules, results, and standings. Once in the Tournaments tab, to the top right, click the green New Tournament button. Give the tournament a name, then you can upload a logo. This will be shown when users are viewing the tournament schedule online. Then choose the sport for your tournament from the drop down list. Choose a season, choose the type of tournament, which will be double elimination. Then team versus player, the max number of teams, then the surface allocation method, and if an exemption day is enabled. Now for the points section. Choose if you want to include forfeits in games play or not. Now onto the online results. If you want a public facing website for online results, choose yes from the drop down. Then choose if you want to allow primary contact and people with scorer roles to enter results online. If yes, choose which team can enter the results and if there is a lockout period. Once done, click the Create button. Scoring for this tournament can be done later via the Matches tab. Now to add the teams. To do this, click on the Teams tab. Then click the green Add Remove button. Choose the number of teams and press Update. Then to edit the setting for the tournament, click the blue Edit Seating button. To move teams, hover the mouse over the six dots and move each team to the right seating position. Once done, click Update. Now to add the surfaces. To do this, click on the Surfaces tab. Then click the green Add Remove button. Choose the surfaces and then press Update. Now to create a schedule. To do this, click the blue button to the top right. Then choose a start date and time. The days between rounds, match duration and time between games. If you now go to the Matches tab, you'll see that the Round 1 matches for the top half have been automatically created using the seating. Once the matches have been played, to enter the results in the score section, click the blue pen next to the team to enter each result. Once you've entered the results for these games, we will now see the schedule has been updated when the winners into Round 2, and the losers now playing off in the bottom bracket. Once these games have been played, repeat the steps for the following rounds and enter the scores for each. Once all of the top and bottom section rounds have been played with the scores entered, you will now see the final with the teams entered. Once this final has been played, enter the scores. Thanks for watching another Stack Tawny Help video. As always, if you have any questions about using Stack Tawny, check out the other help videos or click the Help and Support button in your Stack Tawny dashboard and we'll be able to assist you.